DB1, DB1, assimilate, DB1, shooting glancer. It's like, oh, mate, like, fucking hell, like, just give me a break, man. You I've got my stick of dynamite here. Pop that off, mate, going out with a bang. He says, I think Gridiron also had damage mitigation, not sure, when it was in public playlist, but people do not understand execution rules. There you have the sort of hilarity of the the game and the state that it's going in new mode releasing called execution 2.0 and the developers don't think the player base is smart enough and can't adapt to the change of putting execution in so execution 2.0 the brand new content they brought out for gears 5 isn't actually execution Hey folks and welcome and today I just wanted to do a sit down little talking head video about a few things that have been on my mind. So recently we've had the Operation 6 trailer which I reacted to. Cheers for everybody enjoying my comedic take on that. And then we had a mid-operation drop. Now the mid-operation drop for Gears 5 was this horde event alongside some other tweaks and changes that were Execution 2.0. What this means is the main selling point of the game the main hey players come back in and come and play our game the trailer for that didn't include some of the most largest features that the team have been creating which to me was just weird it didn't make any sense and a lot of gears marketing to me doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of how they do it because there's content there they're just showing it in weird and strange places and you have to dig around to find the information that you want. For example, the the PVE cards still don't even really say what they do. Some things say this affects the hammer burst and it doesn't. It affects other things and vice versa. There's a lot of digging you need to do and the information just isn't there. It seems very strange to release a product and say, we're going to give you more content more often only to then not give the people more content more often, but to split the current package of content in half and dish it out at launch and halfway through the season, only to then include an event and some changes in a trailer that that wasn't shown to the people that saw the initial launch of Operation 6. Maybe yourselves at home can vouch for me or maybe you disagree. When I typically am trying to get back into a game and I see a trailer announced for the new content, I typically think, okay, let's watch it. And then I decide on the spot, am I going to get back into that game? Yes or no. And for me, there wouldn't have been enough for me to get back into that game. There was one map remade from Gears 4, um, a new map, and a couple characters which apparently still have the wrong voice lines. There's some stuff miss missing. You know, it, it is what it is. That's not enough for me. And I, you can let me know, was that enough to you, for you to uh, sort of come back to the game? But I would have been saying, but wait, there's more. Come in halfway into the game, there's going to be a big new horde event. And there's going to be some new game types. Because most people don't revisit twice. Um, and for sure, this game mode and this horde type of sort of gameplay wasn't created in the gap between the drop and the halfway point. I don't believe it was. I believe they knew it was coming. Um, I could be completely wrong there, but that's the way it feels, right? So I would have definitely announced, yo, there's some horde stuff coming because Gears of War, for, for people that don't seem to realize still, the only people that are purchasing gears, the vast majority of them, are saying, I want to complete the story. I want to play some tower defense slash horde style gameplay because there's not many games on the Xbox that do that. And then I'll dabble in a little bit of PvP. But PvP isn't, for my, in my opinion, the main selling point of gears these days. It is the story, the game pass ease of access and the pve modes so i've been in my discord and my my viewers and a few few people have kind of voiced how they feel about it you can let me know they basically said that the horde event was okay nothing spectacular what it was was the bosses would be sort of mutated versions of current ones now i may get some of this information wrong as i am unable to play but it's kind of like general ram isn't general ram cloaked in krill that throws out krill with a big gun it's kind of like general ram is a scion mulcher jamad is a sniper khan is a boltocker and i don't blame tc at all i don't blame them they're not going to be able to create like 20 new bosses with full animations kind of like that wakar 2 boss which we killed which was good fun 
Um, and again, I'm always happy to give TC props when they deserve it. I said PvE changes were good a while back. There's tons of positive videos on my channel, and obviously there's tons of negative ones. And this one's a mixed bag because I understand that they can't release 30 new boss types with custom animations that it's not possible. And also, really, it's not worth it, let's be honest. You can't put all of that work in just to have a small player base play it. But it's kind of like how I feel all the time about seeing and playing Gears is they kind of half arse everything and I don't think they mean to. I think that if they really were told go and make Horde Mode brilliant, the guys at the studio could go and make Horde Mode brilliant. The problem is they've got the fingers in so many pies and so many areas that they always kind of... It feels like they, they're always appeasing you guys at home. And I feel bad for you guys at home that are still relentlessly playing every day. And I see them on... Because I'm, I still follow loads of people from Gears. I, I see people all the time talking about Gears. Um, and this is wrong, this is wrong, this is bad. Um, and they don't play any other games. And that's kind of how it works. It's like they've got the fingers in many pies. If somebody comes up and says, like if the community gets up in arms about PvE, there might be a few changes, then it'll go quiet. Then they'll do something else. And they're kind of half-assed products the whole way through. And I don't think it's because the team lack ability or anything like that. I think that's just the way the cookie has crumbled, so to speak. So... The, the main talking point of this video, and we're going to chat about some other stuff, is indeed the fact that, once again, the developers just seem to think that the community is stupid. So I've had a few... I've had three run-ins. I'll say run-ins. I don't really mean to use that word, but I've had three kind of looks at this. Number one, when uh, a few months ago there were some big patch notes coming out, quote, big patch notes, uh, Dana, who no longer works at TC, kind of released one page every day and i said how about you just market it as like today's patch day you can open them up on stream read them on stream react to them with your community get some feedback we can have a big patch day with all of the stuff that's coming because we were told there's a ton of stuff um there's so much stuff that it can't fit in one day and i said most big games do a big patch drop and then people react to it and it kind of builds up right and there's little teasers going on here and there like little leaks and then the big patch drops Gears did it page by page, and I said, "What? why? They said, and for want of a better word, and it's somewhere there on Twitter, believe me, I, I, I'm talking from the heart, they basically said, Gears people can't read that, inf that much information in one day. There's too much information, it's too complex. And I was like, so you're rebalancing the game and changing the game for the community, but you think the community isn't smart enough to understand the patch notes and changes. And now it kind of makes sense why PvE is so simplified and doesn't fully explain how all the damage works and how all the cards affect certain things because maybe they think the community is stupid, right? The next one, I had a talk with a different developer. And this developer, it's again somewhere on my channel, said that when you're playing execution and you shoot people that are downed and it makes that chink, 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 chink noise as if to say, you can't finish me for some reason. Players can't grasp that. Players don't understand what that is. And when I voice the opinion of, by the way, folks, the reason execution is the way it currently is, it's because the developers think players are too stupid. The developer themselves messaged me and said, are you just trying to incite clicks? Is this what you're doing? Are you twisting my words? Are you a clickbait? And that really riled me up, by the way. <clears throat> really riled me up. And kind of started to make me think, hmm, think a little bit different, right? So, okay. They've called the player base stupid twice. And I got called clickbait. So maybe I misrepresented that viewpoint, right? But no, here we have another TC developer. And I don't mean any harm, but this is the way it comes across. Saying... The following, execution 2.0 has two selectable rules for down but not out. The old execution rules and damage mitigation like escalation. The public playlist has d damage mitigation pretty sure, but please note public play never works with execution rules. Somebody chimes in and says, why not? Could you not just tell the players how execution works? People wouldn't be as confused. 
He says, I think Gridiron also had damage mitigation, not sure, when it was in public playlist, but people do not understand execution rules. So there you have it, guys. There you have the sort of hilarity of the, the game and the state that it's going in. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this for a couple minutes, right? You have a new mode releasing called Execution 2.0. And the developers don't think the player base is smart enough and can't adapt to the change of putting Execution in. So Execution 2.0, the brand new content they brought out for Gears 5, isn't actually Execution. Okay? Like, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Now, personally... I think single life game modes, specifically Gears of War, it doesn't work. You need more st more strings to the bow, more sort of, you know, ingredients to the pot to make a single life game mode more entertaining than just simply, here's four dudes, kill the four dudes and the game ends, and if you don't, it's a draw, and if you do, you win, right? Or if you get killed, you lose. It's 2021. It's the same tired formula from 2006, 2006, and there's been very, very little innovation. In fact, there's been very little innovation across the board. If you sit down and look at it properly, look at Horde mode, say, from Gears 3 to Horde mode now. Has there been tweaks and changes? Yes. Is it a monumental change that changes the way the game plays? No, not at all. And is it because Horde Mode is perfect and they don't want to change a perfect formula? No, I don't think Horde Mode or anybody that plays Horde Mode would agree that Horde Mode is perfect. It's, again, putting your hands in so many pies and never quite finishing off one properly. So I, I just don't like it. I, I don't like the way the developers consistently seem to think, like, the player base is stupid. So when you're asking for these changes and you're doing all of these changes, bear in mind that a lot of the team seem to believe that the player base cannot understand simple things. And maybe they can't, but then think about it logically. If the player base can't understand simple things, then probably asking for stuff like this, which is where they're saying, hey, we're going to fix the rap shot. But then the developer themselves is also tweeting a clip of a reaction shot saying this is so cool, epic play on the pro circuit. It's like, well, do you like the play or do you not like the play? Wh which one is it? It's also really funny to see how the game is now just... It's 4v4, and I said from the beginning I championed 4v4 because I think that's the way the game is played best. But... It's not, 4v4 isn't best for Gears 5. 5v5 is. 4v4 is so boring. Now, my actual opinion is that the game should expand dramatically in scale, and it should be like 16 versus 16 with like five hills to fight over, and people are rotating, people are getting caught crossing, there's Lancer setups, crossing from A to E hill, and all of this stuff, you know, you could have like a Brumac, you could have all kinds of huge scale fights going on in Gears, that's where I think the future of Gears is. PvE and a multiplayer game mode that is of larger scale, that suits the scale of the universe and the monsters and the, the Hammer of Dawn and everything going on. Not this close quarters, execute three guys and the game is over. That's utterly boring. The only time that really works is like CSGO, because that game is crisp in terms of everything about it. It works flawlessly, right? So it's just such a weird amalgamation of styles. 5v5 maps with 4v4 characters. Now we, we're re changing the what I call the chicken rap shot, the rap shot, but then keeping the same gib distance. The problem isn't the rap shot. The problem is the clarity of seeing when somebody does it, but mainly actually the problem with it was the fact that the gib range was enormous. So you could be stood on opposite blocks and somebody could reaction shot or whatever you want to call it, rap shot and blow you up. So if they're going to remove it or tweak it, they're like, so they're changing how the game works with how reaction shots work on all the other guns and stuff, but they're still keeping the large gib range. So it's still going to be gib or be gibbed. Ultimately, 
I don't care anymore. I don't care. The developers don't respond to any of my support tickets. They don't respond to any of my tweets. And frankly, they think the player base is stupid. So <laughs> that, that's the way it is, isn't it? I'm only going off the limited information I can say. For the past couple of years, I've done videos when I thought that TC stepped it up and there was really good changes. And I've also done videos where I think it was bad. And honestly, I don't think Operation was was that terrible, right? I don't think Operation 6 was that terrible in terms of if the game was in a really, really good state and you got a new Horde event, you got some new characters, you got a new couple maps and you got some Tour of Duty stuff, it's okay, right? But in typical TC fashion, they just kind of seem to not quite hit the mark. And I'm just being honest. So I've got my stick of dynamite here. Pop that off, mate, going out with a bang. It's, I'm so fucking done, mate. I'm so fucking done. I tried to be nice and be like, listen, let's just pretend I'm a customer that wants a fucking response. And I'll, I'll submit some tickets and I'll ask in the most polite way humanly possible on social media. Hi, it's been a couple of months. Could you look into my case? Literally no response. I had a guy yesterday that said he bought Chrome Steel something and it had been a month. They'd still charged his card and he hadn't got the product. Now, probably at that point, you should be going through your bank or you should be going through your payment services or Microsoft, right? And just dealing with it that way. But the fact that the, the support is so lacking is funny. Now, to note, to end with a... Let me pop this explosion off. This is where it sums up, man. So one of the developers was playing and he was obviously beating this team. And this team were calling him out for hacking, giving him a bit of shit. And they invited him into party. Now, to note, this is a party invite, right? If you're beating somebody at a game and they're talking a bit of smack and then you they send you a party invite, you know what you're getting into. They are going to talk some shit, right? So this person optionally accepted the party invite, right? Joins the party and they continue on to talk a bit of shit, I believe. Um... He said all they did was whine. They suck at the... This is the developer talking. They suck at the game. All they did was whine. They didn't believe I worked at TC because I speak Spanish. And then he tweets, Oh, and by the way, TC Kilo gave them 24 hours of community service. Hashtag Kilo is awesome. Is, is this what it's come to? Is this really what it's come to? That developers are optionally going into party chat after winning listening to somebody talk a bit of shit and then thinking i'm gonna fucking ban them and then celebrate the ban on twitter like fuck me like now maybe the guy said some awful shit and they deserved a communication ban but it's just like this is what it feels like man it feels like i don't i don't it just feels like there is a there is like this this element of the gears franchise now that has just completely changed and you know what i'm on about and it's just like is, is this what we want like oh players are too stupid to understand patch notes you say anything you get banned blah 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 you know here's here's more content more often but let's split it into two like that that is honestly like you know what i mean like i'm, I'm just not interested at all I just not interested in talk. I'll tell you what game I've been playing. I've been playing like a horde based game. Uh kind of huge amount of people on screen. Think Left 4 Dead 2, but medieval. When I played that game, I was like, bloody hell, like there's so much stuff attacking me. I've got spells, I've got all kinds of stuff going on. I was like, this is what horde should be like, not a bunch of bloody robots going db1 db1 assimilate db1 shooting lancer. It's like, oh mate, like fucking hell, like just give me a break man you like you know what i mean so th that's that's what it is it's just got to the point where execution 2.0 isn't even execution where there's a last ditch attempt to save horde and now we're getting let's remove the chicken wrap shot let's put more gears style maps in let's go back to 4v4 and here's where the funny thing is is in in my mind I, i'm thinking don't do it but a part of my mind thinks like Gears is going to kind of go back to its roots in terms of Gears 6 and it'll get some hype and some attention. 
but it'll very, very quickly die off because it won't innovate on anything. That's my honest, like, gut reaction. Could be completely wrong. Hope I am completely wrong. But yeah, it's like, I get all these people telling me, yo, Z, branch out. Yo, Z, do this, do that. I have, mate, I haven't played the game in about six months and I'm always producing different types of content. But sometimes I know you guys at home want to hear my take on Gears, so I'll still talk about it. So to that fucking, to that fucking clown, mate, that said I'm done, what I want to tell you, mate, what I want to tell you is why on earth am I about 80% of your channel views? That's what I want to know. What? Why am I still getting 3k views on a reaction to Gears and you're getting like 200, mate? 10 plus times your views. So if I'm fucking irrelevant, which, spoiler alert, I am. I don't have an ego. I know my ch fucking channel's tiny, but I'm just doing it for my fans. Then what the fuck are you, mate? So don't tell me that I'm finished and don't come and talk some shite, mate. So, yeah, fucking... Pop that one off, mate, and fuck off.